Hi, everybody. Uh, um, I thought it would be fun, generally and most hentefully, if uh, I showed you some stuff that I got hanging around my walls. Because, you know what, darn it, I, I like this stuff, and uh, nobody really gets to see it this often. So, I'm going to show it to you. So, this is, um, this is a very cool, cool guy thing that I own. It's, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a drawing by, uh, artist Don Rosa, who is the other good duck artist for the Donald Duck cartoons, uh, Donald Duck comics. My, apolo my apologies, Mr. Rosa. Um... And as you can see, it was signed to me. I met the man in California uh, at a comic convention. And I got this framed, and I love it very much. Uh, uh, if you can tell, it is a recreation of the first Batman cover, but with our boy Scrooge McDuck in the Batman role. Scrooge and Batman are roughly the same character in many ways, so... Uh, but one is Scottish and one is implied to be Scottish. Oh yeah, that's a fun fact if you don't know. Uh, it, it, there's, uh, in lore, apparently, Batman is supposedly related to Robert the Bruce of Scotland. <laughs> so, that's a weird one. This is a painting I have of the Parthenon. And uh, I have been to this place in real life and I picked this up in Greece or Helia, as is the, I, I just found that out a, a little while ago. Do you know that Greece isn't called Greece? It's Helia. I think I'm pronouncing it right. Um, Greece was, like many things, the Roman name, so that's why we always refer to it as Greece, but they, the Greeks never called themselves. They always called themselves the Helios. Helios. But uh, this is the Parthenon. It's I've had this painting for years, and I really love it. Uh, which is why I've had it for so long. I really like the, uh, oh wait, I can just do this. I'm, I'm smart. I've always really liked this, um, frame right here. I've always thought it was really good. Um. So, uh, if you're a Lord of the Rings sort of fan, you may recognize this as Saruman's staff. And uh, where did I get this? Uh, in in New Zealand, when I went on the Lord of Rings tour. That was a really fun tour. Uh, first day I was there, uh, we went to the Hobbit Village, broke my camera, so I have literally no pictures from, from that tour, but still, it was a fun tour to go on. scared it'll fall down and kill me so um oh how to best explain what this poster is uh you may have seen me play with deep fake stuff uh on this channel before um and this is probably the um furthest i've ever got with it this is this i made this out of an old poster called the green knight and I, this is me uh, on that guy right there. Uh, and the rest of these people are friends of mine. <laughs> and it was really fun. And I like this poster a lot, but it is weird having pictures of your friend, friends up in a poster. Uh, that's, um, so, but here's the thing. This is not a very well, um, uh, how do I explain this? Uh, it looks fine from this angle. But watch, watch what happens when I go up. Oof, looks, looks a little dire. I actually did figure out how to upscale all this stuff after I had this poster made, so, you know, takes time. This is some dumb trinket I got. Now, this is one of um, the best posters I have. Uh, now, if you can tell, this is uh, a Doctor Who poster. It's a limited edition poster from 
the 25th anniversary. And I believe it's done by Drew Starston. It was made for, it was made uh, as a special it, uh, for PBS made it and commissioned Drew Starson to make it. And I love it so much. This was given to me, uh, he's a family friend by a family friend. And he said the only, he said it was too big for his apartment. So he gave it to me cause he knew I was a Doctor Who fan. And he said, the only requirement is I'm never allowed to sell this. It must be passed on to somebody else. And I think that's a very fair requirement for how beautiful this poster is. So that some of the stuff and oh da ba ba da ba 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 how could I forget this guy? Yeah. Dark side of the moon. I forgot even I had that. It's behind the door, so I don't see it that often. Um, I was a teenager when I got this. I don't know if you can tell, cause, but I like it. It it was for, it's a it's a blockbuster thing. Blockbuster used to have these really great posters that they would sell of like hand painted stuff. I really loved it, and I do kind of miss video stores. So that's all the things I have on my walls. I hope this was illuminating, uh, or not. It was fun for me, at least. <laughs> Thank you for watching.